Today I'm going to show you how to calculate the ortho center of a triangle. The ortho center of the triangle is where the altitudes of the triangle meet. Now, the ortho center can be inside the triangle, on the triangle, or outside of the triangle. Bear in mind that the altitude of the triangle is the perpendicular of the line, the line that's perpendicular to the base and touches the vertex of the opposite end. Now where the ortho center lies really depends on the angle of the triangle. So for an acute triangle, the ortho center lies inside the triangle. For a right triangle, the ortho center lies on the triangle, specifically on the vertex of the right angle of the triangle. And for an obtuse triangle, the ortho center lies outside the triangle. So let's try this question. Given points A68, B35, and C95, find the ortho center of triangle ABC. It's always a good idea to first sketch the image. So I have an image here, and we're first going to use the altitude, the, the vertical altitude. So, what is our equation of this line CB? Line CB is y equals 5 because, as you can see, they're both passing through the y-coordinate 5. Now, what's our altitude of CB? Here is passing through point A, which is 6, 8. And it is a vertical line, therefore, the equation of the altitude from the line CB, which is this line, is x equals 6. Because it's passing through point 6, 8, your x coordinate is 6, and there is no y intercept, so x equals 6. I'm going to use a slightly different color there. So I've color coded my altitude. So the pink line is equation x equals 6. The next thing we need to do is find one of the other altitudes. I'm going to just use the blue one. You can use the white one. It doesn't really matter. So if you recall, to find our equation of the line, we're going to use y equals mx plus b. And if you also recall, your m is your slope, which can be found by the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I've labeled my coordinates x1, y1, x2, y2. So y2 is 5 minus y1 is 8 over x2, which is 3, minus x1, which is 6. And I've color-coded that. That gives me negative 3 over negative 3, which equals to 1. Now, we found the slope of AB, which is this slope. But we want to find the altitude, which is the blue line. Now, the altitude is the perpendicular. So the slope is the negative reciprocal of AB, which gives us negative 1. To find the equation of our altitude, we need to take one of these points. We're going to take either 6, 8 or 3, 5. I'm just going to use 3, 5. So, at 3, 5, we're going to go back to y equals mx plus b. So, I've color-coded stuff. So, my y is 5 equals our m is now negative 1. Our x is now 3. And we need to find our b. Simplify. 5 equals negative 1 times 3 is negative 3 plus b. We're going to add 3 on both sides. That gives us b equals 8. Therefore, our equation of the line is y equals negative 1x plus 8. So now we have equations of two altitudes. The pink one, which is x equals 6, and the blue one, which is y equals negative x plus 8. We can solve our equations simultaneously. So I'm going to say x equals 6, and I'm going to call it equation 1. And if you need a review of that, solving equations simultaneously, I have a video. And y equals negative x plus 8. I'm going to call that equation 2. And we want to try to align our equal signs in the same column so we keep everything neat. Then I'm going to substitute because remember I have, when I have something in the form of x equals something or y equals something, it's better to substitute. I'm going to say substitute equation 1 into equation 2. Therefore, 
y equals, now your x has now become 6, so that becomes a negative 6 plus 8, and therefore y equals 2. So the ortho center is, your x is 6, so it's 6, and your y is 2, and that's how we derive the ortho center. Now, if you were given a triangle that did not have a flat base, like the one with a base of CB, then you would have to find the equation of two altitudes, which is, first you have to find the equation of two lines, either AB or AC or CB, find the slope of each of those lines, then the perpendicular slope, which is the negative reciprocal, plug those back in as we did for the slope of altitude of AB, as shown here, find the equation of each of the altitudes, and then find the point of intersection simultaneously, and then your final x and your final y would be the ortho center. If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I offer tutoring services as well as notes, worksheets, and lessons with full answer keys online. And if you'd like to support my channel you can consider supporting me on patreon links down below thank you for joining me and i hope this lesson helped